Assalamu alaikum everyone today's video is about analysis of questionnaire using SPSS SPSS is basically a uh, software for the statistical analysis hum questionnaire ke responses ko excel sheet mein convert karte hain aur further phir hum uska SPSS pe analysis karte hain to first step kya hota hai analysis ka ki humne apne responses ki reliability check karni hai whether they are reliable for the research or not uske liye we have a number of reliability test we are going to discuss those test using spss before performing the analysis of questionnaire first of all check out the validity of questionnaire's responses whether the data is reliable for the analysis or not isko check karne ke liye we perform the reliability test there are a number of reliability tests which include cronbatch alpha k test p test one way anova two way anova we will perform cronbatch alpha test in spss to check the reliability of our response cronbatch alpha is the most commonly used technique to measure the reliability effect of the data its formula is alpha is equal to n into c bar into v bar plus n minus 1 into c bar where n is the number of items or the components in our data c bar is the covariance between the items and v bar is the average variance we can use this formula to find out cronbatch alpha in excel as well but what we have to do is we will put the data into s spss and spss itself will calculate cronbatch alpha for us we don't have to do hard work there if its value is closer to 1 or greater than 0.6 the data is reliable so we can conduct analysis on that data but if it is not greater than 0.6 we cannot conduct analysis on that data because the data is not reliable this is my questionnaire jiska i am going to perform analysis you can see first i have respondents data then i have questions which are of multiple choice options then i have questions of likert scale in ke responses ka i am going to perform analysis on spss and i have converted the responses in excel Here I have timestamp, name, company name, email ID, cell phone number, and designation. I'm not going to take these questions into my analysis, so I've deleted them. Insert another bar here. यहाँ पे what I will do is जहाँ पे mail होगा I will write. a number let's suppose i say male hoga to it will be 1 aur agar female hoga to it will be 2 so i'm going to write one for the males and two for the female you can do a uh, conditional formatting or put if statement if you have a lot of data You can see in questionnaire के I have created my own scale for the option जिनका कोई स्केल नहीं था फॉर एग्जाम्पल मेल को मैंने कह दिया इट विल बी वन एंड फीमेल को कह दिया इट विल बी टू एक्सपीरियंस में इफ आई गो टूवर्ड्स ऑप्शन तो इट वॉज वन टू थ्री थ्री टू फाइव फाइव टू टेन एंड ग्रेटर दैन टेन एंड आई हैव टेकन इट एज वन टू थ्री एंड फोर फॉर माई ईज दैन साइज ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट में स्मॉल वन मीडियम टू लार्ज थ्री and mega 4 project management experience if yes then i will write one if no i will write two then uh, for the multiple choice questions like these this ke andar i have different options usme bhi maine har option ko ek number de diya and in the same way i have put my responses in excel you can see gender mein male is one and female is 2 then for experience 1 to 3 is 1 3 to 5 is 2 5 to 10 is 3 and greater than 10 is 4 in the same way size of projects completed may medium uh, i have to write here in the same way medium as 2 small is 1 Largest three and mega is four. This could be I have given scale. Then project management experience. Me, uh, it was 
if it is yes one if it is no two so you can see yes me i have written one then for question one i have given the numbers to the options you can see ठीक है सिमिलरली बाकी क्वेश्चंस में भी ऐसा ही करना है नाउ लेट्स गो टुवर्ड्स एस पी एस एस दिस इज एस पी एस एस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल गो इन द वेरिएबल व्यू यहाँ पे हम अपने वेरिएबल्स को डिफाइन करेंगे तो आवर फर्स्ट वेरिएबल इज जेंडर so i will write here gender then is ki type is numeric means maine isko numeric mein convert kar diya hua hai theek hai this one is numeric i will write its value it is if it is 1 to it will take it as male at if it is 2 it will take it as female at ओके आई हैव डिफाइंड माई फर्स्ट वेरिएबल इसका इट एक ओनली फाइव एल्फाबेट्स तो आर इज नॉट बींग रिटर्न नेक्स्ट वेरिएबल इज एक्सपीरियंस ठीक है इसको आई विल राइट हेयर एक्सपीरियंस इट विल अगेन इट इज अगेन नोमैरिक और इसको हमने लिखा है वन टू थ्री वन थ्री टू फाइव टू फोर फाइव टू टेन थ्री एंड ग्रेटर दैन टेन फोर तो इसको आई विल राइट हेयर इफ इट्स वैल्यू इज वन टू थ्री इट विल बी वॉट वैल्यू इज वन तो लेबल विल बी वन टू If it is one, the label will be one to three years. Then it is three to. If its value is two, the label will be. Three to five years. Three, five to ten years. So value is four. It will be greater than ten years. Okay. उसके बाद ना माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इस साइज़ ऑफ़ प्रोजेक्ट इन स्मॉल मीडियम लार्ज मेगा इसको भी हम ऐसे ही लिखेंगे साइज अगेन मैरिक इसको हम वैल्यू देंगे इफ इट इज वन तो इट विल बी स्मॉल इफ इट इज टू इट विल बी मीडियम इफ इट इज थ्री इट विल बी लार्ज large if it is 4 to it will be mega i don't know what's wrong with my i it's not being written theek hai ye wala question bhi hamara likha gaya hai then my next question is project management experience isme yes or no tha we will write one or two project pm isko hum likh lete hain project management If it is one, so yes. If it is two, then no. Okay. Then my next question is this one: project control tool. Is ko I will write Q one. Q one. Is me sentences nahi likhe jaate nahi me. That's why I am taking it as Q one, Q two. इसको हाउ वी विल डिवाइन वन है तो इट इज कस्टम मेड टेलर और कस्टम मेड सॉफ्टवेयर कस्टम मेड सॉफ्टवेयर 
आई डोंट नो वन पे क्या है वन पे प्राइमा वगैरह है कस्टम मेड इज फाइव वन पे वी हैव प्राइमा वेरा पी सिक्स पी सिक्स टू पे वी हैव माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एम एस प्रोजेक्ट थ्री पे वी हैव वट वी हैव वन थ्री पर्ड मास्टर पर्ड आई थिंक माई आर इज नॉट वर्किंग and four pe we have sap at okay let's do this okay i'm sk- skipping these questions इनको सिमिलरली हम वैसे ही पुट करेंगे ठीक है नाउ माय क्वेश्चन टू विल बी दिस इज गोइंग टू बी माय क्वेश्चन टू एंड एसपीएसएस माय क्वेश्चन टू विल बी ऑफ द लिक्विड स्केल इस तरह से आई हैव डिफाइंड माय लिक्विड स्केल दिस वन वेरी लो लो मीडियम हाई वेरी हाई so i'm going to put the scale in spss for question 2 one very low टू पे वी हैव लो थ्री पे वी हैव मीडियम फोर पे वी हैव हाई एंड देन ऑन फाइव वी हैव वेरी हाई ओके नाउ वी हैव आर डिफाइंड अवर वेरिएबल्स दिस इज वॉज टिल क्वेश्चन टू अब अगर बाकी क्वेश्चन भी हम माई स्केल फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन टू टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन एज सेम सो वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू एज आई एम गोइंग टू कॉपी दिस एंड पेस्ट इट हेयर एज ट्रांसपोज now i will copy this and then paste in spss it says the variable name duplicates because i am putting question 2 again so i will copy from question 3 to question 13 i have put all as scale is same so i will copy this scale and put it in all by pasting it control c control v simple kiya so for my variables have been described ab main data view mein jaungi aur in variables ka jo data i have put in excel usko main yahan put karungi let's see how for gender i will copy this and simply paste control v paste in spss for experience i will copy this and paste in experience for size of projects i will copy this and paste here for project management experience i will copy this paste the hair 
then for my first question I will copy this and paste here then for my question 2 this is my question 2 I am sk skipping the remaining questions so the data has been added now let's go towards the reliability test to say we will know whether our data is reliable so far we have input all our data in SPSS all responses from excel sheet have been uh, input in SPSS now let's move towards the analysis we have to find the value find alpha value in order to know the reliability of data for that what we will do is go into analyze scale reliability analysis select all of these options put them in the items box and we have to select alpha from here as we have to find cron batch alpha there are other tests as well for the reliability we are conducting this if we go in statistics so here ja we have a number of other things we can find kar sakte hain, like mean, variances, covariances, correlation. We are not going to do them for the time being. Let's find out alpha. Okay. So this is value of alpha which is 0.184. It is very low that means our data is not reliable we have to find out more response we can create some other graphs as well for that we need to go and analyze descriptive statistics frequencies now again select all the variables and put them into the variables box now go in statistics you can check a number of options whatever the statistics you need in your uh, analysis you can check them I'm checking mean medians and standard deviation continue now go in charts select the type of the chart you want I'm checking bar chart and uh, here are the chart values means uh, frequencies and percentages means uh, what you want on the axis you want frequencies or percentages I'm checking percentages continue okay out will output will appear here see this these are the graphs iskander you can see here is the percentage for each request in the graph this is question 7 it shows itte percent logo ne medium ka hai itte percent logo ne very low ka hai itte percent logo ne high and itte percent logo ne very high ka hai so we can see all the graphs here are the few tables just ke andar we can see frequency matlab very low question 11 mein ek, ek ne kaha hai low ek ne medium 6 ne high to le these are the uh, tables for the frequencies and this is the table just where we can see mean medium standard deviation jo bhi statistics minute check ki thi, they are here we can copy these tables into word agar aapne apne thesis ya research paper mein put karne in tables ko in order to show your reliability test so you can copy them and you can also change their formatting as per your requirement you can change the formatting of the table like this you can copy all the tables here all the graphs here So this is the graph copied 
the graph is in the form of picture so you can only uh, format it as you f format the picture but you cannot change the properties like you change the properties of the graph or you do formatting of the graph so that's all about run batch alpha uh, or reliability test there are many other reliability tests as well that you perform on SPSS. So for now, that, that's enough. We will be back with an other tutorial. Bye bye. Thank you. If you have any questions, please comment in the comment section below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any further queries, you can contact me on the given email address. Thank you.